Okay, <clears throat> I just got through juicing a little bit here. So I've got, <clears throat> I've got some of uh, the uh, fiber left over, as well as a few other items. And what I'm going to do is basically blend it all together and uh, some of these pieces are uh, just like the cuttings like there's the end of a beat you know and uh, we'll just uh, add a little water just add a little water okay And we just blend it up. Oh, it helps if I plug it in. Okay. About good. Okay, and we just we're gonna pour it in here. Oh, I forgot about the blade. Okay. Now we'll just add some more. And we just take our lemon pieces, doesn't matter. We got, uh, what is this? Watermelon? Some lettuce pieces. A banana peel. These are uh, actually uh, organic bananas, so these labels are are paper. Sometimes they're a pain to get off, so I just leave them on. And what do we got here? Uh, cucumber skin. Cucumber skins. Uh, a part of a peach. What else do we got? Spinaches and lettuces that were gonna go bad. Basically, uh, now we add some water again. Okay. finish this up and uh, then we'll go out to the garden okay here we are out in the garden and this is the uh, bed that I'm going to be preparing and you remember I put uh, some of my homemade compost underneath this and then on top of this is just some soil that's pretty depleted but we're going to start replenishing it with this ground fruit and veg waste uh, the, now again the reason I'm grinding it up is so that it's already broken down it's like kick-started so so uh, we're 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 accelerating the process of soil replenishment by grinding it down now some of these uh, leaves here that I've thrown on top are uh, some of the dead cuttings from off of my uh, other plants which I'm just going to continue to throw in here to uh, continue to increase the organic matter within the soil. Um, 
these are uh, this is a pepper plant I'm trying to um, uh, bring back this one looks like uh, it's got some new growth on it this tomato plant looks like it's doing well and I just transplanted that rosemary into this pot hopefully it starts to uh, show a little bit more health now over here uh, I've got this artichoke plant that I'm trying to uh, wean and uh, it's been struggling so before I plant it I do want to plant it over there because they get quite large but um, for now I'm leaving it here in the shade because uh, it's not supposed to get a lot of sun actually only three hours of sunlight per day and I've begun to plant actually these are the uh, um, these are the ones that were in my in the previous garden in this very soil, which I've transplanted back in here. Uh, I had them down in a in a pot down pots down in here, and uh, and the roots and there were some uh, buds still on there, uh, right there. So I'm pretty confident that those will start growing again. Uh, these look like there might be some buds. So, and then this I think is. Spinach. Not sure, but the root system and the buds look good, so I replanted those. Here's a couple uh, beets, which uh, still were doing okay in the pot, so uh, I went ahead and uh, transplanted them here, and hopefully those will grow up nicely over time, and uh, we'll get to look at those as we go along. And. Uh, so, like again, this is exactly the same process that I did for this soil that I'm going to do over here. And uh, I'm just going to use uh, my little rake tool and we're going to rake it in. So, that'll be the next part. Okay, I've broken up the top of the uh, soil pretty much. And now we're just going to pour this in here and... Uh, We're just going to work it in uh, to the soil and uh, mix it up thoroughly. You don't want, you want to kind of cover it and mix it and uh, rinse and repeat. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I've pretty much uh, mixed in everything that I had in my bucket into the dirt and kind of mixed in those uh, leaves that I had on top as well and now we're just gonna give this a good little uh, spray and uh, that'll uh, kick start the decomposition you just let, you know let nature do its thing. Like I said, uh, uh, this is an easy soil replenishment uh, method. Um, and those worms will smell that decaying matter. They will come up and they will begin to eat it. And uh, I'm guessing I'm going to start planting in this probably by the end of October or November. Uh, we might even see some things start to uh, grow in here uh, from the seeds that we ground up uh, and threw in here because <laughs> uh, that's what happened to me last time. So uh, anyway, I'll uh, see you guys next time. All right, bye.